that had Peter Munt and Aaron Trong. Uh, together we're representing Ray White Estate Agents, auctioneers and property managers of 77 Kunang Road in Carnegie. On behalf of the team at Ray White, but more importantly, on behalf of our vendors here today, we'd just like to say a very quick thank you to you all for turning out here today. To any of the interested bidders, all the very best of luck with your bidding. And of course, to any of our underbidders here today, commiserations, and we'd love the opportunity to help you find another property in a few moments time. Now today's auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for the property after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors have a reserve price and as the auctioneer I'll indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids, prohibits any major disruptions by bidders and prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and it does provide fines for this conduct. The rules do permit vendor bids and the words we'll use during the auction to indicate we're making a bid on behalf of the vendor will very simply be vendor bid. And of course, by law, only I as the auctioneer today have the right to place that bid on behalf of the vendor. Attached to the contractor sale is the section 32. We have had this on display for the last half an hour or so. And if you have taken the time to read through it, you'll see it does confirm Ray White is the vendor's estate agent here today are selling what is formally described as lot G14 on planner subdivision 745757J, which is of course more commonly known to yourself and I as 14 at 112 Mimosa Road here in the heart of Carnegie. Now in a moment's time when we do call for your bidding, we'll be asking for a deposit equal to 10% of the purchase price uh, settlement. Did I ask that? 3060? 3060 days time, preferential settlement terms for the vendors. Unless of course something else has been organized prior with uh, one of the marketing agents prior to having your bids taken here today. Now the way that we'll be selling the property once we've declared it on the market, we're going to call it down three times. On the first, second, third and final call when the contract hits my hand, like so, the property will be sold. And at that point, buyers, no late bids can or will be accepted. So it's really, really important to make sure you get those bids in nice and early before the contract hits my hand. If we do happen to fall short of the vendor's reserve, it'll be that highest bidder and the highest bidder only that'll get invited inside to exclusively negotiate at the vendor's reserve price. And we know statistically speaking, their chances of buying the property instantly increase to about 80% if they hold the highest bid at the end of the auction. So an incredibly strong position to put yourself in as a buyer. And buyers, what's not to love about this particular apartment from the moment you walk in from its own street facing entrance, which is sought after enough on its own, you're just smacked in the face with uh, luxurious finishes and such a beautiful style of uh, apartment. As you're walking through the courtyard, there's no maintenance whatsoever, no grass or anything that you need to get the lawnmower out for. And you're straight into that living room where all of that glorious sunshine is coming through the uh, windows there. It really is a fantastic floor plan, about 70 odd square meters internally, but very, very well used space. We know that sometimes you go into a lot of apartments and although they might measure up at 75 square meters, there's lots of large hallways and things like that, which just take up so much of that usable space. In this particular one, every single square meter of space has been thoughtfully laid out to give you the maximum livability for the size that you've been allocated. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, nice high ceilings, beautifully appointed kitchen, reverse cycle air conditioning, double glazed windows. What more could you want, ladies and gentlemen, than what's on offer here at apartment 14 at 112 Mimosa Road? If Carnegie had a heartbeat, folks, this would be it. If you drew a circle around probably the best, most livable part of the suburb to live in, Mimosa Road would have to come pretty close. Obviously, uh, I believe this block opposite is uh, government owned, but I'm pretty sure that they've been planning some sort of private outdoor space there for many, many years. Nothing has happened, but eventually there may be a park or a playground or something along those lines. Uh, lots of uh, well-documented information on the council website about that. Beyond that, heritage overlays on Mile End Road. You're not gonna see any more uh, large scale development happening to the west of this property. So what that means is at least from your outlook of this property, what you see is what you're going to get largely for the next uh, foreseeable future, failing any major zone changes. Get to the end of the street, Carnegie Station, shops, cafes, parks, schools, everything you could want from a lifestyle location, folks, are available within walking distance from where we stand here today. With the sky rail, you can hear the train coming past now. It's very quiet since they elevated the rail. You're not dealing with that level crossing bells and uh, the noise from the train itself is much, much quieter. So you're getting all of that convenience of living close to the station without having to deal 
with the rattling and the dust uh, that you used to when it was on the ground. So an absolutely incredible spot, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get underway, what is the market doing? Everybody's asking this question. Uh, all we know that is with two interest rate rises on hold, we're starting to get some confidence in the marketplace. You're starting to see a few more listings come up now. Auction clearance is holding very, very strong. Less properties are getting withdrawn from the market. The major four banks have all come out and made their predictions that they think interest rates won't go up again. But even if they do, they might go up once more. They're not going to go up 10 more times. The banks are predicting that maybe as early as the first half of 2024, we might see interest rates dropping again. Now, when that happens, buyers, it's too late. You've missed the opportunity. The market will be in full scale momentum mode. The second interest rates start dropping. Now is the time to capitalize on that last little bit of uncertainty we've got in the market before it's uh, an upwards trajectory once more. So buyers, with that, I'll put it across to you. Best of luck to all of our buyers here today. 14 at 112 Mimosa Road. In your hands, buyers, for a fair, reasonable start. Who'd like to bid us away here today? Where do we see a fair, reasonable start to get us underway? Happy to place a vendor bid if I need to. Don't mind the start, buyers, you tell me. Range of 6 to 6, 6, six to 650. 60. 50. I should get my facts straight before trying to sell the property. 6 to 650. Do we say 600 buyers? Happy to place a vendor bid to get things moving if there's no further bidder advance. 600, can we say? In your hands, buyers. Do we say 600? 600 thousand dollars my vendor bid now buyers were away at 600 thousand dollars a bid do we go 610 at 600 thousand dollars bid now with me vendor bid 600 thousand even the bid come in for a rise of 10 take it to 610 buyers at 600 thousand dollars that's my vendor bid now looking for a rise of ten thousand dollars at 600 thousand dollars a bid do we say 610 i'll call it down three times for you all buyers at 600 thousand dollars a bid let's call now 600 do we say 610? Second call now, 600,000. Third call at $600,000 a bid. Surely not buyers, exceptional buying opportunity. Show me a ground floor, two bed, two bath of this caliber that you're gonna get for less than that. $600,000 my vendor bid. Let me remind you if there's no bid or advance, the property passes in on my vendor bid and we get to deal with all of the interested parties with no exclusivity at all. If you were to place a bid now at 610,000 and the property was to pass into you, we're only allowed to speak to you. First right of refusal, exclusive negotiation, makes buying the property as easy as it possibly can be. $600,000, still my vendor bid buyers, looking for a rise of 10. We'll call it down three more times. At 600 even the bid, first call now 600,000. Do we say 610? Second call. 600 the bid.
Thank you very much for your patience. Obviously not a great deal to report to our vendor at the moment, just the one vendor bid from me at $600,000. But one thing has been made clear, we won't be placing a vendor bid in excess of this level. If somebody was to bid on top, $605,000, I couldn't even finish my sentence, I won't be placing a vendor bid in excess of this buyer. If there's no further bid or advance, the property will pass into them and they will come inside for the exclusive right of refusal to negotiate. At $605,000, we're away, let's go for a 10. At $605,000 a bid now, six fifteen. do we say? At $605,000, fairly bid and offered, dealing with the highest bidder, no vendor bid on top of this. First call now, at six hundred and five. dollars do we say 615 buyers? Second call now, 605. Third call at $605,000 a bid. Do we go 615 buyers? Let me make it very clear. Right now they've got an 80% chance of buying this property, statistically speaking. If you are here with interest, right now you have a 20% chance. I'm not a gambling man, but I don't want to be on the wrong side of those odds. At $605,000 is the bid. Do we go to 615 buyers at $605,000 I've got? Looking for a rise of 10, fair warning for you all now on the third and final call we'll pass in and we'll deal exclusively with the highest bidder here. At $605,000 a bid now, I'll call it down three more times for you all buyers, $605,000 is the bid. Looking for a rise of 10,000 at 605 triple O the bid, first time now 605. Do we go to 615 buyers? Second call. Don't leave it to the third and final call, buyers. At 6.05, the bid. About to miss the opportunity, buyers. Third and final call. Hit $605,000 on bid. All done. All silent. All finished. At 6.05. Five. I'll take a five. Do you want to say 10? I was calling for a 10, but we'll take a five. 605 is a bid, let's take it to 610. $605,000 a bid, do we say 610? I'll give you a moment to think about it. It's $605,000 a bid. Hit $605,000, let's come in for a five, take it to 610. At $605,000 a bid now, call it down three times at 605. Hit $605,000 a bid, first call now at 605. Second call, 605. Third call now, 605. I'll meet you halfway. I'll give you a 50% discount. Aaron, how about two and a half? 605's a bid. Do we say seven and a half? The ones won't work. It's been well documented. I asked chat GPT. It told me so. It's 605,000 a bid now. Do we say seven and a half? 605's a bid. Last opportunity out of respect to the highest bidder at $605,000 a bid. We'll call it down three last times and we're done. Happy to take a two and a half if that's what's going to keep you in it, but I'd recommend a five being the smart bid from here. At $605,000, first time now at $605,000, second time $605,000 the bid, third call at $605,000, all done, all silent. All finished at 605. 